Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actors who fell in love on rom com sets. Number 10. Anna Faris and Chris Pratt, Take Me Home Tonight. The two met on the set of Take Me Home Tonight. While the story was mainly focused on Topher Grace as a man who goes to a party with his old high school crush, Faris and Pratt play Wendy and Kyle. Get your hot ass up here! The latter duo plays a couple whose relationship doesn't ultimately work out. However, real sparks were flying between them at the time. Despite being married at the time, Faris actually got divorced after she started working with Pratt. It only took a couple of years before they officially tied the knot. Although they ended their relationship in 2018, their romance certainly got off to a sweet start. Number 9. Amanda Seyfried and Dominic Cooper – Mamma Mia Anyone could see this pairing coming from a mile away if they watched Mamma Mia. Seriously, just watch the lay all your love on me scene if you need definitive proof. We're guessing Amanda Seyfried and Dominic Cooper perfectly portrayed two kids in love because they were actually attracted to each other. After the young couple met on the set of the ABBA musical, they apparently had no trouble making their romance real. While the two dated for about three years before calling it quits, it seems like the two are cordial together. Number 8. Taylor Swift and Taylor Lautner – Valentine's Day While both of these stars seem to have moved on just fine, we find ourselves thinking about this duo more often than we'd like to admit. Taylor Swift and Taylor Lautner met each other while filming Gary Marshall's ensemble rom-com Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh, I totally love him. In the film, the two play young high schoolers in puppy love. Viewers couldn't call the love story between these silly teens epic or complicated, but they could see the genuine heat between the couple when they shared a scene together. Fans affectionately called them Taylor Squared when their relationship went public. Number 7. Joey King and Jacob Elordi the Kissing Booth Although Jacob Elordi was romantically linked to Euphoria co-star Zendaya, their show isn't exactly a rom-com. But it was a whole different story and genre when it came to The Kissing Booth. In this 2018 film, Elordi and Joey King fittingly played teenagers in the throes of a secret relationship. Ironically, their real-life connection was anything but. According to King, the two started out as just friends. But the amount of time they spent together on set apparently helped them take their relationship to a new level. King and Elordi continued to date until February 2019. Number 6. Justin Theroux and Jennifer Aniston – Wonderlust Before 2012's Wonderlust, Jennifer Aniston was no stranger to high-profile relationships or on-set romances. She met and fell for Vince Vaughn on the set of their ironically named film, The Breakup. But the more enduring relationship came from Wonderlust. And no, Aniston didn't date her on-screen husband, Paul Rudd. Instead, the actress found herself growing closer to Justin Theroux. Their relationship progressed so quickly that the two were engaged just a year after they connected. Even though they ended their marriage in 2018, they still appeared to still be good friends in the wake of the split. Number 5. Marissa Tomei and Robert Downey Jr. – Only You when Robert Downey Jr. started flirting with Marissa Tomei in Captain America Civil War, some Marvel fans started speculating Peter might get a new uncle. This belief mainly was due to the chemistry between the two. While Tomei and Downey Jr. have been longtime friends, they actually dated for a time in the early 1990s. It helped that the two spent a lot of time together on the set of the rom-com Only You, while many of the details about their romantic relationship are still kept under wraps. It reportedly didn't last past 1994. Number 4. Tim Robbins and Susan Sarandon – Bull Durham In 1988 Bull Durham, it's not hard to see the sparks flying between Susan Sarandon and Kevin Costner, but she still finds herself with Tim Robbins's nuke for a good chunk of the runtime. While Annie and Crash may have been the couple we were rooting for on screen, Sarandon found herself falling for Nuke's real-life counterpart behind the scenes. Are you trying to seduce me? After working on the sports rom-com, they began living together. They even openly advocated for the same cause and had two children together during their relationship. After two decades of being together, they called it quits in 2009. Number 3. Spencer Tracy and Katherine Hepburn – Woman of the Year the love affair between Spencer Tracy and Katherine Hepburn was a bit more complicated than the average on-set connection. This famous couple met on the set of 1942's Woman of the Year. Throughout their scenes, it's hard to deny how perfect they seem for each other. 
but Tracy was actually still married when they met. Although he never divorced his wife, he and Hepburn still maintained a romance. The relationship between the two actors was an open secret of sorts around Hollywood. While they tried to hide how close they were, they continued making movies openly together. Their chemistry continued to be palpable in whatever story they were in. Number 2. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez – Gigli The romance between these two megastars began in an unlikely place. It's turkey time. Lopez and Affleck star together in Gigli, a movie that is loathed as one of the worst rom-coms in history. Fortunately, the bad reviews didn't discourage the two leads from getting together. They initially enjoyed a whirlwind romance before it came to an abrupt halt two years after it began. But this couple returned in full force in the 2020s. Number 1. Javier Bardem and Penelope Cruz – Vicky Cristina Barcelona before 2008, Javier Bardem and Penelope Cruz already knew each other from starring together in 1992's Hamon Hamon. But they were just friends until Vicky Cristina Barcelona. Shortly after getting to set, it was clear that they had something special going on. Bardem adoringly reported that the two were still nervous about approaching each other outside of work. Thankfully, they were able to loosen up and break the ice at the wrap party. They went on to marry in 2010 before having two children. Your whole way of seeing is mine. 